What's going on, people? So we are uh, live from the tying class. Say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. And uh, we've got John Kent in the house. Everybody Hi. knows John. And uh, so John is tying up uh, one of his hot legs damsel patterns. So we thought we would stream it. Uh, if you want to watch, stick around. We're just getting set up, and John will be filing off here in just a couple minutes. So enjoy. But he goes, I seen butter tarts. Yeah, not yeah. for you. <laughs> <laughs> Need a close up? If you can auction one off to the winner, you can. There'll be no after parts. All right, let's try and get this dial here. Okay, you want my dial? Pass over the fence on this lawn on the side there. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready to go? Game on. Okay, everyone's got the hook and the vise. Just going to uh, apply thread just behind the eye. It's just going to catch up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one sec. I just got to get this. Uh... I don't think it'll make a difference. No? Connection. So the first thing we're going to do is tie in the eyes. Just a little, an eighth of an inch back behind the eye of the hook. And we're going to do figure eights to lock it in. Top side or bottom side matter? Top side, and then once I've done about 10 figure eights, I'm going to flip it. Yeah. Flip it to the bottom Let's side. Come on. Try. Yeah. <laughs> so then we're, once you flipped it to the bottom, you're going to do uh, probably eight or 10 more figure eights. And then one other thing I do to lock it in is I'll wrap the thread under the eyes and over the shank. There you go. And this will uh, stop it from uh, spinning around on you. And then do that eight or 10 times and then a couple more figure eights to finish off. And then just stop your thread about an eighth of an inch behind the eyes. And usually I put a little uh, UV resin on the thread between the eyes, just to... Uh, These young guys and their resins, eh? And this usually, so this, this is a UV light, this is how we dry it. Whew. Instead of uh, waiting uh, an hour to put on the second coat, <laughs> okay, next thing is the tail. So with this pattern, I like to leave the tail quite long, usually about uh, one and a half shank lengths. And there's lots of uh, people who uh, scoff at this because they say it wraps around the uh, bend of the hook and uh, I'm sure it does happen occasionally, but uh, it sure catches a lot more fish with the long tail. And we're just going to tie it in right behind the eye. and just wind your thread down to the tail, holding the uh, marabou on top of the hook shank so it doesn't spin around. And when you get to the bend, you're gonna stop there. And then I usually uh, put a couple uh, wraps of thread under the tail and above the sh shank. 
just helps to uh, hold the uh, tail from wrapping around the uh, curve of the hook, which sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And then just uh, a nice long tail. And then wind your thread back up to behind the bead. And this is where we're going to tie in the wire. And we're just going to lash the wire to the shank of the hook all the way back down to the tail again. Is everyone doing okay? Matter of opinion. I'm here, so I'm slow. <laughs> Where did you come up with this pattern, John? Um, probably 10 years ago on uh, Kid Lake. Okay. I was trying to uh, catch fish on, uh, you know, just a small natural looking damsel. And there was like four different colors coming off and, uh, and I couldn't match it and because the hatch was so prolific and I uh, figured I needed something that uh, would stick out a bit more and uh, the old Jack Shaw what did he used to say the big apple or the bright apple in the bunch, yeah. in the bunch kind of yeah thing, something well you know how caramids are uh, sometimes the hatch is so big that uh, if you go a size bigger then you know kind of same thing with this something that sticks out and uh, I've used it at Kid, at uh, Corbett, Tunqua, a bunch of lakes, and uh, yeah, it uh, works good when, when there's a, a good hatch going on. Okay, we all ready? Now we're going to put dubbing on our thread for the body. It takes very little. And this is rabbit, so it's quite easy to dub, but if you uh, wet your fingers, it makes it a lot easier. You get a little ice tub in there too, do you? Yeah, yeah, a little of the pheasant tail ice tub. Okay. So the way I make this dubbing uh, flashy is uh, it's it's just basic uh, rabbit dubbing and then add uh, some uh, pheasant tail iced up to it. Just mix it together. So once you have your uh, dubbing on your thread, then you're just going to wind your dubbing loop up to the uh, just behind the eye. Same all the way up. Yeah, I prefer it that way. I... I just want to show everyone uh, what I'm using to make these legs. And for the legs, we're just using this uh, Palmer chenille. It's small and it's orange. And uh, when you buy it in the store, it's uh, a little bit too long for the damsel legs. So I usually uh, cut about a quarter of the length off of it. It's very easy to work with. And so we're just going to take that and cut about an eighth of an inch of the fibers off just for your tie-in. Mm -hmm. 
Then we're gonna tie that in right behind the eye. Sorry? How many wraps? Three. Three. Yeah. We need a little bit more. Yeah. 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 yeah, if you're ready to tie the legs in, usually just uh, about three wraps behind the eye. And tie it off and cut the excess. I okay. think so. What so to everybody? yeah, yeah, to finish it off, you're just gonna figure eight some of the dubbing around the uh, eyes. Just enough to cover that thread. And then whip finish. Should we rip the body now? Uh, no, wait till you finish whip finishing. <laughs> and you cut the thread off, it works better. Yeah. It's easier, it doesn't get in the way. One in every group. <laughs> I'm a butter card. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so, okay. so that's it. Easy peasy, usually. Yeah. Any down low questions for John? We talked about All right, there we go. Hopefully you guys uh, yeah, like that one. Yeah, Thank big good. thanks uh, to John for hand, uh, hand coming out face. and showing the uh, almost the ribless hot legs dance. Uh, and we're gonna carry on with the class, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Americans. Say bye, everybody. Bye, bye everybody. Bye. bye. Thanks, John. Hey, thank you. <clears throat> He always had videos on damsels and dragons, fishing uh, snails and...